Hello everyone, and welcome to the Analog Horror on YouTube Iceberg. I'm your host, Nineish, and I will be guiding you through this adventure. This is only part one, so make sure you check back in to see the rest of the Iceberg series. At the end of the Iceberg, I may do an extra video with suggestions from you, so please comment below an Analog Horror series that you enjoy that isn't mentioned. If you hear about a series you'd like to see a deep analysis on, please feel free to comment that as well. This iceberg will contain spoilers, so please skip an entry if you don't want to know what happens. Links to each series will be in the iceberg linked below in the description, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Tier 1. The Sky. We begin above the iceberg, above the water, just the analog horror that everyone knows. Now let's get started with our first entry. The Walton Files. The Walton Files is an analog horror series made by Martin Walls. It is based loosely off of Five Nights at Freddy's, with animatronics taking center stage. In this series, we follow the Walton family, specifically their daughter Sophie, through uncovering what happened at Bond's Burgers. Her father, Jack Walton, and Felix Cranken were the owners of this restaurant. Felix has a drinking problem and kills two of Jack's children in a drunk driving accident on a way home from a school party. Now, Jack, who is trapped in Bond the Rabbit, murders whoever comes into his path and stuffs them into animatronic suits. Sophie, his eldest daughter, is taking pills that make her forget the events, but slowly she's beginning to remember what happened to her and her family. The series is yet to be finished, so if you're getting into analog horror, this is a good series to start with. Local 58 TV Ah, the classic. Local 58 TV, or Local 58 for short, was one of the shaping factors of analog horror, being one of the first successful series. Local 58 follows a more ambiguous story about facial recognition, wartime, and the moon being alive. Though this sounds incoherent, there are many theories about what this series could mean. I think the best video to cover the content of Local 58 is Nexpo's video, Local 58, the broadcast station that manipulates you. I will link it below in the description if you want to know more about this wonderful series. Contingency scared the shit out of me the first time I saw it. Gemini Home Entertainment Gemini Home Entertainment is a series that follows a skinwalker-type creature called a woodcrawler, which inhabits humans as hosts to gain control. They are the invasive version of the gardeners, which is a creature that lives underground and helps spawn the woodcrawlers. We follow the story of Moonlight Acres Family Camp, a summer camp that has some strange ritual. This series has a video series, which is still ongoing, and a video game called Lethal Omen. Another staple in the analog horror genre, this is definitely a good watch. The Mandela Catalog The Mandela Catalog is a series by Alex Kister, which covers a creature called alternates that take the form of people you know. They have an ability to influence you through psychological means through TVs, mirrors, radios, and other technology. Following different characters like Mark Heathcliff, Thatcher Davis, and Cesar Torres, we uncover the story of false religion, lost children, and face-morphing creatures, and also cats. This right here is real, and you should know that more than anybody! What's that even supposed to mean? I wish we never looked for your m because she is dead and gone, and we were never gonna get her back. All around, a good watch. Very spooky. Blue Channel. Blue Channel is actually more commonly known as Thalassin. It's that one video with the different emotions you feel on a certain medication, including Kine, Farination, Loric, Toulouse, Dorselessness, and Trantiveness. But there is more than one video that the Blue Channel contains, a monster showing its face within the static. I would recommend Pagan Valley's video, The Blue Channel, Explained. I will link it below for anyone interested. This House Has People in It. This House Has People in It aired on Adult Swim in 2016. This short film is confusing, to say the least. If you're intrigued by a mystery monster, Falling Through the Floor, Sonic, and Clay, you might want to check out Nightmind's video explaining this house has people in it. It doesn't have all the definitive answers of what the short means, but it definitely is a start for trying to understand what exactly is going on here. No Through Road No Through Road was a viral video in 2009. It follows several British teens bantering in the car before realizing they are lost. After a while, realizing they are in a loop, unable to escape, as a creature or a person stalks them, killing each one. The video spawned a series years later. Though many people have not seen the series, it follows James, one of the children who survived the attack, and a new character, 
David, they're leaving flowers on the road for their dead friends and get stuck in a loop. Stephen, the old cameraman, survived as well and is found bloody on the side of the road. After looping several times, they confront the masked man and drive at him full speed, but are just transported back to the original loop from when they were teens. They find a farmhouse, enter it, and find what appears to be an altar. They take a mask from the house, and while hiding from the masked man, another car shows up. Now things get... confusing. The end of the final episode ends like this. Wait! Wait! Steven? Steven? Steven! It's a good experience and definitely a classic, so it's worth sitting down to watch. The Backrooms Found Footage Series. The Backrooms Found Footage series is made by Kane Pixels. The Backrooms are a concept that you can glitch out of our reality and into this space called the Backrooms. The Backrooms, to some, is an endless maze of hallways that seem vaguely familiar, and to others is a multi-floored complex of monsters. In Kane Pixels' series, a student who is recording a film project clips through the ground and into the Backrooms. After being chased by a creature, the camera falls back out of the Backrooms. It turns out there are people researching the back rooms, and a research facility called Async is trying to create portals to be able to get in and out of the back rooms to provide housing for a growing population. They succeed after failed tests, but this open portal makes more people clip into the back rooms and out of our reality. There's time travel stuff too, but I'm not going to get into that. If you're interested and haven't watched this series, it's definitely worth it. Tier 2. The Tip we move down to the tip of the iceberg, basically just dipping your toes into the analog horror genre. Monument Mythos Monument Mythos by Mr. Manticore is covered best, in my opinion, by Windigoon, which is linked below. And I will try and explain a little bit of what this series is about. Monument Mythos covers a version of history where supernatural creatures are being hidden from the public. The creatures are hidden in historical monuments and fed by the government. For example, Alcatraz Island is a live and a living organism. It's an alternate history, so there are different presidents, dead people are alive, etc. It's a fucking wild series. Just go and watch it. It's good. Evertide Media Center Evertide Media Center takes place in a fictional town in Massachusetts, 1989. From impossible shapes, giants underground, malicious diamonds in the sky, and creatures from the ocean following the lavender light of a lighthouse. It's a good series and I would recommend it, though I will give a flashing lights warning for the nuclear safety video and a warning for holes in the deep night video. The unusual architecture and computer graphics episodes are my favorite. Agamemnon Counterpart Agamemnon Counterpart is a fictional children's show with screaming and trippy visuals. It's very confusing and seems kind of pointless, but it is a staple in analog horror. It was basically just an art project. Just note that it is very loud if you plan on watching it. Analog Archives Analog Archives is similar to Local 58, but a bit more straightforward. The Orange Knight beckons you to mull your neighbors. You must take sleeping pills on July 12th, and you are legally required to watch a safety tape about your television. Some demonic something needs people to worship them and cast away their beliefs of God. Sunset Studios is trying to warn the people of the county to stop the Orange Knight. Harmony and Horror Harmony and Horror is a series created by Baddington and is another Five Nights at Freddy's inspired one. Martin, our main character and villain, turns his son into a Henry doll, this thing, bringing it to life with satanic rituals and gifting it to his daughter, Ava. Gloria, Martin's wife, tells Arthur, Martin's brother, about Martin's abusive nature and the possibility of him turning their son and daughter into toys. When Arthur confronts Martin, Martin kills him and turns him into the ice cream man. His last remaining daughter, Macy, 
is turned into the singing Sophia marionette. Martin is killed soon after by Arthur as the ice cream man, after he sees everything Martin has done to his family. Everyone in this family dies, most of them turning into toys. If you want to watch this, I will give a gore warning and flashing warning. The Wyoming Incident The Wyoming Incident is a bit of a staple, with a crazy backstory I'm not going to get into. But this is a fake broadcast that apparently made people have hallucinations due to the frequency of audio. It was turned then into some crazy alternate reality game that I'm not going to get into, but you can basically see the video on the screen right now. There isn't much meaning to it, but it's more up to interpretation. Petscop Petscop is a Let's Play style where our player character, Paul, plays a game called Petscop. Many theories have spawned from this, some more crazy than others, and I think Sagan Hawk says it best in explaining the series, so I will link his video below. Kraina Griswold TV Kraina Griswold TV is a weird one. It translates to the Land of Mushrooms TV, or Mushroom Land, each episode covering a segment of a show called The Smile Guide. In Mushroom Land, where our series takes place, Agatha, our main character, opens a show with bizarre titles like How to Effectively Apple and How Your Child. Maggie the Squirrel and Agatha host these trippy shows with themes of drugs, the seven deadly sins, a man called the Jeansman, and a girl called Carolina. The most driven theory is that Agatha was sheltered by her mother and died doing drugs. Mushroom Land is a purgatory that Agatha is stuck in. The series really unnerves me, so I haven't done a ton of research into it. So if you're intrigued, go ahead and watch it. The jump scares kicked my ass, though, so be wary. The Smile Tapes The Smile Tapes follows a drug that forces the user to smile from ear to ear, as well as the side effect of mania. The drug is a fungus that grows in a person's brain, which is spread when airborne. A man named Sean gets infected by the fungus, and it drove his dog to die. Then it finally makes him go on a mass homicide spree, killing 16 people and injuring 10. It is clear this drug enhances people, given that Sean did this all with a knife, and the drug wants you to spread the fungus. There are different variants of the fungus with different effects, some making the affected person stronger than an average person. Those were tiers 1 and 2, so check in for the next part of the iceberg,